This is a scary looking car. I'm in Shaw, Mississippi, getting ready for an auction, which hasn't opened yet, but yeah, some scary looking cars from the 50s and 60s. That one looked like one that used to be on the Twilight Zone that ran people down. And it is long. It is about the length of two cars. There's a motorcycle, a truck. These cars are most of them from the Jim Crow days. I wonder how many of these cars were used to transport black people to a river and dump them or to some woods and hang them in a tree. If these old cars could talk. They would have some stories, I'm sure, that would shock some viewers to the core. Talk cars tell us something. Who drove you? Who sat in the front? Who sat in the back? What was said? If cars could talk, mercy Jesus. In some of the clippings and accounts of the problems that black people had, you see these old cars. And again, I wonder who, what, what stories do these cars hold? There'll be an auction off tomorrow. And once they're restored, I suppose their stories will be buried with the new car look. But I thought I'd make a video because when I see cars like this from that era when African Americans in the South had few rights. Looks like the car that's one of the cars similar to the three civil rights workers in Mississippi were traveling in when they were stopped. And we know what happened to them. Could this have been the car? Who knows? Maybe that one is in a museum somewhere. But it looks just like one of the cars they were driving. And some of their, some of the perpetrators were driving similar cars. Okay. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I wonder who's interested in these old Miss cars. In Shell, Mississippi the auction off tomorrow like I said man if I had if they could talk and tell us how they were used to do a lot of evil back in the day signing off <laughs>